Hey guys, Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. Today I just want to do an updated video all about how I refresh my curls. Yeah. The whole point of having a refresh routine is to have a quick, easy way to restyle your hair before you wash it again. And so I am not interested at all in any type of complicated refresh routine. I either use one or two products and the products that I use depend greatly on how my hair looks that morning before I actually refresh it. Situation number one, if I wake up and my hair is really fluffy, the curls fell out, there's very little product in my hair, um, and it's just like fluffy and kind of frizzy, I will use hair cream and gel together. So I will spritz my hair with water, which I'm gonna show you in this video eventually, but I will spritz my hair with a little bit of water. I will use a very, very small amount of hair cream diluted in water, and then I will finish my refresh with this gel, this BioTear gel. I'm going to leave all of the information about these two products in the description box below. But before you go out and buy new products, I highly recommend that you try what I'm showing you today using whatever hair cream and gel you already have that you already know that you like. My hair wasn't at all dry today, and so I used mousse for the tutorial you're about to see. But if you wanted to use gel and cream, I would just spritz your hair a little bit more and use this amount of gel and cream in each of the large sections of hair. Situation number two is sometimes I wake up and it's like day three or day four and I've been putting hair cream and gel or mousse or something in my hair for a few consecutive days and now my hair looks very producty. Maybe I should wash my hair or co-wash my hair, but I don't have time, I'm going to refresh it. The last thing that I want to do is add any more heavy creams or anything like that to my hair. So all I do is I spritz it with water and I just use gel. Approximately this much gel for each of the three sections. The third scenario, which doesn't happen very often, and actually I do this one in a couple of scenarios, but the third one is, you know, I wake up and my hair actually retains some of its curl, which it doesn't very often. Um, but let's say I slept on my silk pillowcase, I slept with my hair in a pineapple on top of my head, and I take it down, and it has just enough product left over in it that the texture of it looks good, it just needs to be spruced up a little bit, then I will use very little water, like just a tiny spritz with a spray bottle, and I will use this mousse. And this is the Herbal Essences Totally Twisted Curl Boosting Mousse. Um, all of these products are silicone free and alcohol free, and I really like all of these. Um, but if I want a really quick, like 30 second, I want my hair to dry as fast as possible, and my hair already looks okay, I will use this. The other time I use this mousse a lot is at work. Um, I'm an OR nurse, we wear scrub caps all day, and then I'm going to leave work and let's say I have to stop somewhere before I go home, or I just wanna refresh my hair quickly before I go home. I do not have a diffuser at work. I just wanna put a little bit of something something in my hair to make it look a little bit better before I leave the hospital. So I keep this in my locker. I will either use some water from the tap or spritz my hair very quickly, add some mousse, scrunch it in, and that's like my 30 second quick refresh routine that doesn't require using a diffuser. So when I use mousse, I use roughly this amount three times, so in each one of the three sections of my hair. Okay, so I talked about the three different things that I use to refresh my hair, and now I'm going to jump right into showing you guys exactly how it works. The first thing that I'm going to do is evaluate what my hair looks like when I wake up in the morning. So I take it out of my ponytail, um, I have been sleeping for a long time with a silk scrunchie in my hair. But I check out my hair, I see how it feels, and then I decide which products to use. So today my hair actually looked and felt very moisturized and healthy. I almost couldn't get over how good my hair looked this morning. And so I've decided that based on how my hair looks and feels, I'm most likely going to use a spray bottle and mousse to refresh my hair. Now I'm pinning the top half of my hair back and this is just to make it easier for me to evenly distribute the water throughout my hair. I am using a spray bottle today, but if you don't have a spray bottle, you can just use water from your sink, just rub it between your hands and then scrunch it into your hair. Just make sure that you go up towards the roots so that you're not just applying the water to the very bottom ends of your hair. Um, you want the water to be evenly distributed throughout your hair. And again, I don't do this extremely strategically or anything like that. I just try to get 
a nice even distribution of water. So this I would call like the mid section of my hair. And then I'm also going to apply some water um, to the very top of my hair, my fringe area. Another good thing about not adding too much water is that it's not going to take your hair as long to dry. Now if my hair was really, really dry and frizzy looking and my curls had really fallen out, I would probably use a little bit more water and more products for today's refresh. Time to apply my products. I'm just going to very quickly section my hair into those two sections again, which will eventually be three sections. For mousse, I use roughly a golf ball sized amount. And before I put that into my hair, I divide that amount into two equal amounts on each one of my hands to make sure I get enough mousse on each side of my hair. And then I use the praying hands technique from the root to the ends to evenly smooth that throughout this bottom section of my hair. Seem easy enough? We're just going to repeat that two more times. So now I'm just sectioning my hair a little bit again so that I can get into the middle section of my hair. Roughly a golf ball sized amount again. Divide it into two. Plop that onto my hair. And then use the praying hands technique to spread that throughout my hair. One thing that I didn't show very well in this video is that I do take some mousse during each one of the steps and I kind of rub it on the back of my head like this in order to get some product in the back of my hair. Now here we go with the top. The only change is I'm going to use slightly less mousse because I have slightly less hair up there. And so again, just kind of getting it into my hair on the back of my head. Then once it's in there, I'm going to use the praying hands technique to smooth it throughout my hair. And scrunch. I can't get over how quickly my hair is growing and how healthy looking it has been lately. I don't know if it's the products that I'm using, um, pregnancy hormones, the fact that I'm taking hair growth vitamins. I don't know what it is, but I'm very impressed with how shiny and healthy looking my hair is. Um, I'm just going to continue to scrunch the products in a little bit more and then I'm going to diffuse my hair on a warm setting for approximately, I don't know, five to ten minutes. When I diffuse my hair during my refresh routine, I don't follow any of my diffusing rules. So I just very quickly diffuse my hair. I do put my hair directly into the diffuser and I do touch my hair a lot, which you're not supposed to do, but I just can't help it and it always turns out great. These are my final results. Um, and I know it's kind of a spoiler because you saw them already at the beginning of the video, but this is what my hair looks like post refresh. It's not perfect. It's never going to be perfect, um, but it is definitely good enough for when you don't feel like going through that whole wash day routine. I have to be honest, my hair looks better if I either co-wash or wash my hair and style my hair from soaking wet, but I just don't want to do that every single day. And so I love the results I get from this and how easy it is. I'm gonna show you my hair up close. I hope you liked this video. I hope it was helpful. Leave any questions or comments that you have in the comment section below. Subscribe to my channel and I will see you very soon in my next video. Bye.